This is a page from Klavierschule. A Klavierschule is a sort of Klavier method. And this Klavierschule is written by Daniel Gottlob Türk. And it is from the year 1789. In this comment he says, the Beboom, that is a sort of tremolo, a sort of vibrato, the Beboom can only be used to good effect on long notes and in pieces of a melancholy character. It is usually indicated as example 230a or b or by the word tremolo as at example 230c. The rendering would be somewhat as shown at example 230d and e. Turk says one holds the finger on the key for the full duration of the note and tries by gentle reiterated pressures to reinforce the tone. I need hardly say that there has to be a relaxation after each pressure, yet the finger must not leave the key. This ornament can only be performed on a clavichord and indeed on a very good one. One must not use the Beboom too often and must avoid the distressing exaggeration caused by using too much pressure. That are the words of Turk. You see a note with four dots above it. That means you have to go down four times with your finger to get a Bebu, like this. You hear four times a sort of vibration. The second example are eight dots above the same note. That means you must go eight times with your finger up the key, up and down. And then you hear a sort of sixteenth movement. There is a clavier method written by Franz Regler called Anleitung zum Klavier. It is from the year 1779. This Franz Regler writes about the Beboom when the key is somewhat slowly rocked, when the tone is rocked quite clearly according to the number of dots without actual repetition of the finger stroke. So you have to see how much dots there are above the note and that is the manner how you have to execute the Bebu. So you have to see how much dots there are above the note and that is the way you have to execute this Bebu. When you see four dots, the finger goes four times up and down on the key. And when there are five dots, the finger goes up and down five times. This is a page from the 18 Probestücke 
vor dem Versuch über die wahre Art, das Sklavier zu spielen, written by Carl Philipp Emanuel Bach in the year 1753. This example is the end of the Largo Maestoso from the fourth sonata. You see only three long notes have dots above it. The first note, an A, has five dots. The second one, F sharp, also five. And the third note, D, has six dots. If the intention is that we only these three notes should vibrate, we must play it thus. But perhaps we are free to vibrate all long notes. It's up to you to say which way is the best. Now I'm going to play this example. I'd like to play all the long notes with a vibrato, in this way. This example is from the second movement of a sonata by Johann Wilhelm Hessler. It is called Adagio. In the second bar we have a note D with six dots. That sounds thus.
I'd like to play the first note also with a vibrato. And it is possible to play the second bar a bit more free, like this. So you can play it exactly as written or you may play it more freely. This example is from another sonata by Hessler. It is the first movement called Andantino con affetto. In the third bar there is a G with four dots above it. This sounds thus. At the end we see an A with three dots. That vibrato sounds in this way. And now both lines I'd like to play the first note of the fifth bar also with a baboon. And the third note of the second bar from line two also. That is the octave D. So now the whole story is like this. <laughs> 